Hi, my name is Peter Simpson, and this is a short and sweet review of the Apex launcher, which is available for Android. Um, I've tried all the other launchers, uh, Nova Launcher, Go Launcher, or all the other pro uh, popular launchers, and uh, I think this one's the best. Now, a lot of people would argue that Nova's better, but I have my reasons, and just uh, had a better experience. Now, that's, I have a, I'm using this on the Droid Razor Max, which is... Uh, if you don't know, it's, it's a relatively new phone, not very new, but uh, right off the way, right off the bat, you can tell that um, there's no dock, and that is because I'm using tablet UI mode, and uh, logically that's probably not the best way to go, but I'm so used to seeing stock Android with you know a dock, and uh, just just looks so just looks so used I'm so used to seeing that I wanted to change, so instead of having a dock, you have your app launcher up here which I've edited so I can scroll like this. Um, this microphone, so you can uh, go to, right to Google Voice Search, and then this Google button to take you right to just a Google search. And uh, I just have my uh, controls here, so some apps. And uh, what's really neat is they have this thing they call gesture control, and you can um, input gestures, do certain things like open apps, of course, the standard one, pinch out, there's the home screens, kind of originated on Sense, but um, there's this cool one, if I just swipe up on any of the screens, if I just swipe up, it opens my phone app, and if I swipe down, it opens my camera, which is really handy, and you can input, um, I'll go to Apex sitting right, right now to show you, um, you just head on over to, oh, what am I thinking, nope, behavior settings, you can assign different things to these gestures. So pinch in, you can do search, voice apps, you know, you can launch an app, you can lock the desktop, you know, same thing for all these swipe up, swipe down, double tap, uh, long press. And there's just a load of features you can customize on this. And I find it to be extremely fast too, like really blisteringly fast, like more than I was even expecting. Cause I figured, I figured it might not be, since it wasn't exactly optimized for this device, it wouldn't be as fast, but I mean, and I mean, I, I, this device comes with Moto Blur, which is essentially like stock Android with just a few little things changed, part of the reason I like it. But, um, yeah, you can just change a whole bunch of things. But it is faster, surprisingly. Absolutely in every way, faster. And you can, you can change these transitions. I have card stacked in right now. And uh, I changed it to vertical scrolling because I prefer that from uh, the old Android days. And, uh, yeah, you can assign different things to these, uh, home, menu, back, and search keys. Uh, you can press them, long press, double tap certain ones, and uh, open apps and things. And uh, yeah, I think this is a really great addition, especially if you're kind of into the stock Android look. Here, I'll just show you right now how it looks with the uh, dock. Just go into dock settings. And since I have tablet UI mode on, I naturally have it off. So I can just turn it right on. It's still loading because I made some changes. And there you go. So you see you have the dock down there. I took away the app launcher because you have it up here in tablet UI mode. But yeah, you can uh, you can change the size of the icons, the margins, everything. And uh, I only have three home screens. I find I don't really need any more. One thing I would complain about is I wish you could change the home screens right here. If you can't, I don't, I don't really know how to do it. I don't, I think you just, you can't. So if you want to change your at home screens, unlike in something like TouchWiz or Sense, you can't do that just by pinching out. To change that, you have to go into Apex settings, go to Home Screen settings, and then go to Manage Screen, which isn't that bad. I mean, you can do, you can add, you know, limitless amounts of these, but uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. I would say, I would say this is probably the best launcher that is available, um, and especially if you're, if you want, if you want your phone to run faster, like I did. Because, uh, if, you know, if you compare this to some new phone like the HTC One, the Samsung Galaxy S4, it certainly isn't as fast. But if you install install a launcher like this, the speed is definitely noticeable. It's, it's definitely a difference. And, yeah, I'd recommend this for anyone who wants their phone to run faster, likes the look of stock Android. Oh, and, of course, you can download um, icon packs. I haven't done that yet. But you can get icon packs to make all these icons look like uh, ice cream sandwich, jelly bean. I don't know, you can go into the Play Store, you can find all kinds of stuff. Um, I'm going to have to wrap this up because uh, I don't have very much time left on my camcorder. 
I only have four minutes, 23, 22. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I just filled it up really fast. But uh, I'm going to have to call it. And uh, I would recommend, especially since this is the free version, I haven't even bought the new, I haven't even bought the, the nice one yet. And this is like, this is incredible. So I would say, I would recommend this over the um, the Nova. I like the Nova, except I just didn't, um, I think it wasn't as fast, at least on my phone. That could be, that could vary from phone to phone, but I thought it wasn't quite as fast as this one. So, you know, I, I think you can't lose with this thing, at least for now. I, I'll have to test and test and see how it affects battery life, if that would be affected. I don't know, but so far it seems, seems really impressive. So, uh, I'd say, yeah, this is definitely a great launcher. Um, I'll be doing more tech reviews and uh, more, uh, things with other devices later on on this channel, not just gaming, so keep your eyes peeled. I'll have all kinds of stuff on this up on this channel later on, and uh, that's all I have for now. Mm -hmm.